Hey everybody, this is Evil Genius 4545, back with more Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we finished up Gobi's Valley and we're in the middle of leaving. So, yeah, yeah, I know, my best note score is just absolutely amazing. We're actually gonna use the boots for once to get across here because I figure I might as well. And if you remember when we were in that scary, scary maze where you gotta go really fast. We hit a grunty switch, and it opened up this sarcoph sarcophagus. Is there a mumbo skull behind here? I thought there was. I probably already grabbed it if there was. Uh, okay, Mr. How the hell do you grab it? Oh, wait, wait, I know, I know. Firstly, I'm gonna get rid of you. You're a fan. And then I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab you, wherever you are. Hello. There you are. And you do this. I don't think I even touched that, but sure, I'll take it. We're gonna grab this, and we're gonna move onwards. Just go away. Thanks for the lift, but I don't need you. We're gonna go in here. And if we go in here, there is... Uh, I think it was this way. We will be going back in Grunty's mouth again, but I think the way to open the level is through here. I don't know, the way you open levels is really weird. They're just kind of thrown all over the place. And you saw how hard of a... Yeah, sure. You saw how hard of a time I had finding the other levels to open. But I believe we go in here to open the next level that we want to go to. Which is all the way back in the other room. Pretty far away. That's what I don't understand. Is it over? No, it's not. But let's get this Mumbo Skull, because I like Mumbo Skulls. I just realized the skulls have eyes. I can't believe I never noticed that. But no. Not in that direction. Is it over there? There it is. I'm pretty sure this is the way to go. To open the next level. I don't know, it's a really weird place. But on the way there, we will actually get to see a destination after the next level. Actually, we might have just passed through the room. Might have been that room that we were just in. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it was. Well, I'll show it off on the way back, but that'll be the level we're heading to after the level that we're heading to right now. But, that level... That level's not fun. I think I've said that about a lot of the levels, but that level is definitely not fun. You are not going to chomp me. Mm -mm. None of that. Now we get to do some platforming. Which I almost fell off of. But I did it flawlessly. We're gonna put in our puzzles for Mad Monster Mansion. Which is, of course, the next level that we're going to. Right there. It's a fun level. I like it. It's cool. Nothing too hard in it. Except for one part. More memory games. But we'll get to that when we get to that. And there's a time trial thing, but... It's not too bad. Not too bad. I've had lots of practice with it. Not not recent practice, but all the times that I've played through the game, I had to do it over and over and over, because I could never do it. But hopefully that won't happen this time. Hopefully this time I can do it in one go. Unlike that tower that I had to climb up in Gobi's Valley. That, that was not flawless. That was terrible. But yeah, it's a really, really long walk back to where we're going. For some, I don't know where they got the idea to throw it all the way out here. I mean, there was plenty of other places they could have put it in, but they decided to put it way past the level after that level. Which I meant to show off again, but you know what? Might as well keep... I should have known I was going to die from that. Adventure of a barren bird. You know what's absurd? Your face. Your face is absurd. It's green. It means you're really dirty. You should get that cleaned up. But yeah, we go not into the lava. Should have seen that one coming. Yeah, they pull a pull a mean one there. They give you a wall all along here, and then the path right after. It's kind of hard to see, but there's there's a gap. So you gotta. Gotta take it slow, so you don't run off. Uh, we don't need to go over there yet. Stop zooming in. We'll go over there after this level. 
because we need what we get from this level to go over there. And I like what we get from this level. And we will get that when we get that. But, we travel up here. We don't go in that direction. There's a gate over there, but there's no point in going through that just yet. Well, actually, you know what, I'm going to head back out real quick. I need to at least open the gate, so I don't need to do that later. Because we will need that gate to be open later. Might as well get it done now instead of some other time. Wait a minute. You're not supposed to be there yet, I haven't even done anything. I guess since I went into the level for like half a second, it still counted as me having been in the level. Normally that guy wouldn't be spawned. You know what? I'm gonna make you rest in peace. But yeah, if you use a beak, whatever, beak attack thing, it kills them a lot faster. You know, I have a feeling there's like an extra life or something back here. Not, not in the wall. Up there. No, I'm wrong. That's gotta be somewhere else. Either way, let's head into the level and get started. I have a sort of pattern that I follow, at least for the beginning of this level. If you noticed, it's called Mad Monster Mansion, you know, there's a giant mansion in the middle. And I tend to just travel around the sides of the mansions and just travel up it, and that's usually how I start this level out. And then eventually I just kind of go around all the sides and just get everything that's out there. I just find it a lot easier. I don't forget what I've done. Like all the other levels where I just kind of go to what I see and... <laughs> got... Oh yeah. I should probably actually... Kill that guy and not shoot eggs at him. But yeah, if... Not that painting, I don't think. Is there even a painting that has him anywhere? Maybe this one? Oh. I'll show them off in a different room, but you know those chomper things from Flanker's Cavern? They're in this level too, except for their bones. They're all skeleton-y instead of slimy. They're pretty much exactly the same. And then there's these bets, but they're really easy to kill, so they're no big deal. Alright, there's no point in going around this side. We'll go back this way. Oh yeah, I know I opened this front door, but there's no point in going in the front door either. We'll see that room in a bit, though. Oh. Okay, well, me hitting the wrong button actually paid off, and I managed to not take a hit there. So we'll travel in this window now. I think there's two windows on each floor, so it's not too much to go through. But yeah, if you didn't notice, you hit all the ones that are lit up. The other ones are kind of boarded off, so you can't get into them. But yeah, there's a good look at the chomper thingy. They're really... What? Did I just get burned by the fire? Yes, yes I did. I never knew you could do that. Either way, let's kill this guy. I don't even think there's any point in coming in these rooms on the bottom. I don't think there's anything in here. Is there a bad guy there? No. Are these rooms really just completely pointless? What a waste of time. Either way. I think we're done on the... F well, no. No, there's one other place to look on the first floor. And it is right over here. If we come over and ignore that bat and break this open. And... Come on, bat. What's going on? There we go. If we just go on and inside, we of course... Not of course, but... Please... Okay. Well, I just ran out of gold feathers, so we're not going to be using that anymore. But we find the wine cellar, and in the wine cellar there is gold feathers. How convenient. But there's also a Jinju. There's empty. I like empty. Empty's nice. And there's one on this side. There's a conveniently placed Jiggy. Apparently in the world of Banjo-Kazooie, they, they drink Jiggies instead of wine. Whatever floats their boat. I don't think there's anything else in any of the other ones. Well, eggs. Eggs are always nice. Remember right, I think there might be notes back here. Yep. It's kind of a mean place to throw them too. They like to throw them in places where the camera doesn't really work out for you. Until you get up there. And then it'll flip around for you. That's still kind of a mean move though. But luckily, I know they're there. So I don't gotta worry about that. And now we can head on up to the second floor. Probably find another two windows to go through, deal with some more bats. I think I already see a bat. Come here, bat. Come on. Come on, fight me. Fight. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Aw, oh, you win this round. Okay. There we go. I still have come out on top. 
And I know I said before that you only have nine lives. And I always thought it was like that, but I found out recently, like, even if you die with nine lives, you still come back with nine lives. So I'm guessing just however many you go over, the game doesn't actually count up that high. Apparently they're not capable of counting past nine. But you have more than nine lives. It just says nine. It's kinda weird, but it, it it works, I guess. Did I get all the notes? Okay, I got all the notes, so let's head back this way. Kill the bat just cause he hit me. Uh, oh, fine, I'll go get it. Kinda forgot you slide off the roof. I hear bees. We don't need bees right now, though. Let's head inside this room. I like how we just come here also and just kind of bust out windows and travel into this house. Hi, toilet. How you doing? I'm Banjo. And you're mean, so you die. Apparently, Kazooie was taking a shower in here and kind of left some of her feathers behind. I really thought about that, but that's what it looks like. And apparently someone was washing their face and got it a little bit too clean. Nice, nice going. So I'm just gonna... Ew. Um... Hey, you calling me fat? I think you pay for that. Maybe you like eggs. Do you like eggs? Yeah, let's, let's try to not miss. <laughs> okay, but no, that's that's not actually what you do. I just just figured, you know, eggs. Everybody likes eggs. Either way, let's move on. That that was that was weird. No more bathroom. But yeah, there's one more room here. And I hate that, so die bat. And I'll bust out the windows, travel inside this room. What's in this room? This room has more you assholes. And gold feathers. I'll always take gold feathers. Oh, you all have gold feathers. Is there one of you over here, too? Nope. Uh, we can actually... Let me out. We can't actually do anything in this room yet. Like this empty honeycomb. We want it so bad, but instead we just kind of glitch out. Not really anything we can do. We can't, like, slide under. If I can even get him to slide. Yeah, you can't slide under. We'll come back to that. In the next episode, because I'm running out of time again. I'll see you guys then. Later, thanks for watching.